The Atse province, which is located in the westernmost part of the archipelago, occupies a strategic position as a gateway for trade and cultural traffic that connected east and west for centuries. According to historical records, Atse was the first place where Islam entered and the establishment of the first Islamic empire in Indonesia, namely Purilak and Passe, with its capital in Bandar Atse Darussalam or Banda Atse currently. Islamic religion and culture have a big impact on the daily life of the Atse people, so the city of Banda Atse has been nicknamed Suramo Mecca or Serampi Mecca. Located about 112 kilometers east of the city of Banda Atse, lies the city of Sigli. Sigli City is a district in Pidi Regency Atse, which is the capital of Pidi Regency. Sigli is a strategic city crossed by the Trans Sumatra Highway. And has the second largest population after Banda Atse City. Atse province has various potentials, such as agriculture, plantation, marine, natural resources and tourism. Agriculture and plantations are the sectors that employ the most labor in Atse. As a result, the contribution of gross regional domestic income in this sector is also very high. In order to accelerate development in the area of Sumatra Island, it is necessary to build a toll road that connects various regions, thus, the Trans-Sumatra Toll Road is built. The construction of the Trans-Sumatra Toll Road which is included in the National Strategic Project, is expected to grow a new industrial center, reduce logistics costs, and be able to absorb labor during its construction. One of the Trans-Sumatra Toll Road sections that have been inaugurated and operated is the Sigli, Banda Atse Toll Road or abbreviated as Sibansa Toll Road. Jalan Tol Banda Atse Sigli sepanjang 74 km ini merupakan jalan tol pertama di Provinsi Aceh. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Bapak Gubernur, Pak Bupati, seluruh masyarakat di Aceh bahwa pembebasan lahan yang ada di Provinsi Aceh ini paling cepat, sepanjang yang saya tahu, paling cepat. Saya kira kalau cara-cara di Aceh ini nanti diterapkan untuk provinsi lain, itu kecepatan pembangunan jalan tol itu bisa segera bisa beroperasi penuh. The existence of the Sibansa Toll Road is believed to have a positive impact one of which is shortening the travel time to Sultan Iskandar Muda International Airport located in Blang Bintang District, Atse Bissar Regency. This can also trigger the community's economic development because now accessibility is becoming easier and smoother, so as to minimize the burden of logistics costs. Akses ke bandara akan semakin mudah dan semakin cepat. Kalau konektivitas semakin lancar, maka pergerakan orang, pergerakan barang akan lebih cepat sehingga biaya akan lebih efisien. Pertumbuhan ekonomi akan saling terhubung dari titik satu ke titik yang lain, sehingga perekonomian akan bergerak lebih cepat. 
Adi berkomitmen penuh dalam melaksanakan pembangunan proyek ini. Penyerapan tenaga kerja di sekitar lokasi proyek juga merupakan salah satu komitmen Adi untuk memajukan ekonomi masyarakat Aceh. Pekerjaan ini tidak akan mudah dilakukan tanpa kolaborasi baik yang dibangun Adi bersama seluruh pemangku kepentingan seperti gubernur dan jajarannya serta masyarakat Aceh. Hal ini juga didukung dengan berbagai program kemitraan yang berkelanjutan yang Adi lakukan bersama warga dan pemerintah daerah setempat untuk meningkatkan kemampuan dan keahlian masyarakat dalam mengelola sumber daya berlimpah yang dimiliki oleh Aceh. Adi Knowledge Series, Sigli Banda at Setol Road. Hete Adi Karya Prosero Debika, known as Adi, is a state-owned enterprise engaged in engineering and construction, property, manufacturing, and investment services. As one of state-owned enterprises leading construction in Indonesia, ADI always provides the best service in every project execution, becoming part of Indonesia's infrastructure development. It's not surprising that ADI was trusted as the main contractor by Hutama Karya in constructing the Sigli Banda at Setol Road. This success is undoubtedly supported by qualified and professional human resources. ADI always maximizes the utilization of technological advances and implements several innovations in each project. Like the implementation of Building Information Modeling or BIM, in this Sigli Banda at Setol Road project. BIM implementation is used starting from the design stage, construction to handover. Not only in the form of 3D visuals, but the time schedule is controlled with BIM 4D and cost control or cost management with BIM 5D. The Common Data Environment CDE, is used as a central source of information to facilitate collaboration and coordination processes in BIM-based projects. Adikarya dipercaya oleh Hutama Karya untuk melaksanakan e, pembangunan tol Sigli Banda Aceh tentunya karena beberapa alasan yang mendasar. Yang pertama, Adikarya secara korporasi jelas mempunyai pengalaman menyelesaikan proyek-proyek e, tol dengan hasil yang sangat baik. Yang kedua, Pastinya Adi mempunyai SDM yang memiliki kompetensi untuk menangani mega proyek. Dan yang ketiga, Adi mampu memahami kondisi lingkungan dan stakeholder yang ada di sana. The Sibanja Toll Road has a total length of 74.214 km which consists of six sections, namely Section 1, Padang Tiji, Solomon, 24.670 km Section 2, Solomon, Jando, 6.260 km. Section 3, Jando, Indrapuri, 17.065 km. Section 4, Indrapuri, Blang Bintang, 13.505 km. Section 5, Blang Bintang, Kuta Baro, 7 km. Section 6, Kuta Baro, Baitusalam, 5.714 kilometers. Of the six sections, it will be equipped with six interchange, 45 main bridges, 29 overpasses, 50 underpass boxes, two pair rest areas, and seven toll gates. Untuk titik 
Bonpel di Pier 4. Ke tempat lokasinya di sebelah sana, Pak ya. Siap. Ke tempatnya, Pak ya. Nah. Jadi sebelum melaksanakan kegiatan pekerjaan, kita cek dulu perlengkapan survei itu perlengkapan alat ukur. Siap. Nah. Oke, Pak. Kita siapkan aja langsung, Pak. Arif Fadila is a young engineer who is full of enthusiasm. Today, Arif and some of his team members are ready to carry out a topographical survey. This survey is conducted to identify the existing condition of land contours, work location points, etc. In addition, it can also be used to identify problems that may arise. Langsung aja. Oke Pak, settingan udah pas Pak. Oke, tentukan koordinatnya stack out. Tahan, kontrol limpunya. Ke kanan, 20 cm. Kanan 5 cm. Maju, 55 cm. Maju 55 cm. Tahan, kontrol nipu. Oke, cepat ayo. Addy's team carried out photogrammetric mapping to get an accurate and detailed mapping's result. Photogrammetry is a non-terrestrial survey method, using a drone with RTK ground survey tools and geodetic GPS. The resulted output is an orthophoto map and a digital elevation model, DEM. The Sabanja Toll Road's terrain conditions are hilly, and there are many productive agricultural lands. So, at the design stage, Addy considers the best route that benefits the path traversed, by minimizing the use of these productive lands. In addition, the survey team had also found the Sigli Banda at Toll Road Section 1 through active faults, namely the Sumatra Fault and the Solomium Fault. Tol Sigli Banda Aceh ini kebetulan juga melewati patahan aktif, patahan silimum, kemudian secara penanganan teknis pada saat proses perencanaan memang di dalam kriteria desain ini kita ada dasar atau syarat yang harus terpenuhi diantaranya bahwa bangunan struktur itu harus tahan atau kuat gempa. From the coordination, engineering consultant approved the proposed design changes. Saya sepakat sih, setuju saya. Sepakat ya. Jadi mungkin kalau misalnya sudah sepakat, kami mengajukan tanda tangan dan kemudian nanti di, langsung dikerjakan di lapangannya Pak ya. Oke, Pak. The process of land clearing and earthworks is a very heavy initial job and must be done with precise calculations. At this stage, the engineers determine which points must be excavated or cut, and which points must be filled. This initial work is very important to determine the elevation of the road according to the plan in the shop drawing. This is an overview of the initial construction process of the Sabansa Toll Road. The development of toll roads with hilly terrain and earthquake-prone locations are just some of the challenges that must be faced by Addy. So, what is the biggest challenge that makes the Sabansa Toll Road project a mega-project worthy to be used as a reference? Watch next in the second episode, in the Addy Knowledge series, Sigli Banda Atsa Toll Road.